Hey everybody, I'm going to do a quick review on this knife here. For you spidey experts, you know this is the Spyderco Delica, the purple. Now, I don't usually do a lot of Spydercos. In fact, I just sold my last Spyderco this week. And so, but I've been flicking the heck out of this one. I really really like this knife in fact having this knife in hand has almost convinced me to buy one almost you know what's stopping me the similarities between this and let me hold on what this used to be that's what's stopping me this feels and reminds me a lot of what the Boker Patriot was before it became the Boker Momo. So, it's got that same light, usable feel to it. Like you can just chunk it in your pocket and not worry about it. So many things to like about it. And if this was my knife and I was able to, I would do that thumb test I did on that Boker. And if it passed, I would buy this knife. I just don't, because it, I know it sounds silly, it's not right. But because it feels so similar, I just got to pass on it. I don't have the patience to build the Spyderco Momo 2000. But let's get on into this. Because if you don't have that weird hang-up I do, this is a great knife. And you can get them on Amazon for about 66 bucks. And that's not a bad deal for a cool little jobber like this. This just feels good in the hand. I mean, look at that. It doesn't look like it's going to hold my whole hand, my whole chunky finger hand. But it's got everything on there. It's even got a nice little safe area here if you want to get up on it. It's not going to be a problem. It's got some excellent jimping down there. and Can you catch that? Man, come on, focus. Anyways, excellent jimping here. If this thing would focus, you would see. All right, let's get into it. You got just under three inches of VG10 stainless steel. And I like VG10. The main reason is most of my kitchen knives are VG10. And I was collecting kitchen knives before I really got into folders and EDC knives. And I know I can sharpen VG10 to razor sharp. It's a good steel. It wears pretty well. And it sharpens easily. And I think it would be perfect for a little jobber like this that you're just going to use from time to time out of your pocket. It's got this spidey hole, which I'm not a huge fan of, mostly because my fingers are chunky. It's hard to jam in there. It's like Winnie the Pooh trying to get through that little thing. So I think that rabbit on the other side. But this one seems like it's significant enough to uh, take my thumbprint there. So I really have enjoyed flipping this thing open. So there you go. It's got the FRN glass filled nylon scales. And the cool thing about this is you can carry it however you want. Left, right, tip up, tip down, you're good to go. So that's pretty cool. That's a great thing about this. It is close construction. It does have some milled out stainless steel liners in there for extra strength, I suppose. Let's check out how much this thing weighs because that's really. A huge selling point for a knife with almost a three inch blade you're looking at 2.3 ounces basically that's that's nothing that is absolutely nothing it's got a pretty cool little lanyard hole there so I could stick something in there make something pretty out of it and it's might as well just be a fidget cube for as flickable as this thing is you'll sit there and watch TV doing this a thousand times until you get Carpal tunnel in your thumb. Carpal thummel. Yeah, I just, I did that. I apologize. So, overall, it's a cool knife. It is a great knife. And like I said, if it didn't remind me of the Boker Patriot, I would probably invest in one. Who knows, I might still invest in one later just to do some testing on it myself. It's been out for a while, so this isn't really a groundbreaking video or anything. It's just my view on a Spidey that... I haven't had in hand before and I really like it. I like it a lot. It's helping redeem the Spidey name. 
This and that Manix 2 I just sold are actually fairly decent Spideys, and if I ever get into the other Spideys, this might this might be my next downfall. So there you go. That's it. A little Spyderco Delica. I think I hit all the high points here. So here we go. Like, subscribe, leave a comment. And thank you. You know who you are. Thank you for allowing me to play with your knife. This is one knife down, two to go. And I will get these back to you. I will try to get these back to you, let's say by Monday. I'll send them, stick them in the mail on Monday. So I got two more reviews to do by Monday. If that's not fast enough, let me know. I'll see if I can do it sooner. But I got something coming. Give me till Tuesday. I'll gladly give you Tuesday for a hamburger today. How's that sound? Tuesday? All right, let me know if Tuesday doesn't work. And I'll talk to you guys later.